Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the next video of this entire series of Azure Active Directory. In the last video, we talked about conditional access policies. We discussed how conditional access policies work and we talked about the components of conditional access policies. In this particular video, I will demonstrate to you how to configure conditional access policies. We will be discussing the prerequisites those are required for using conditional access policies. We will discuss three use case scenarios for conditional access and I will demonstrate to you how to track conditional access policies logs. If you want to configure conditional access policies in Azure AD, you need Azure Active Directory Premium P1 license and you need an account that has either global administrator role assigned or it should have conditional access administrative privileges. So in this demo, we are going to create three different types of conditional access policies for three different scenarios. So the first scenario is, I want to enable Azure AD multi-factor authentication for the users who have security administrator role assigned. And they should get MFA prompt when they will be accessing Exchange Online Admin Center. So let's go to Azure Active Directory and let's go to users. First, let's assign security administrator role for this particular user. Click on add assignments and search for security administrator. Select the role, click add. So this role is assigned. Let me refresh. So this role is assigned to this user. Now let's go to security, conditional access. Now, before you create a new policy, there are few pre-built conditional access policies available. Click new policy from template. And here you can either select identities based conditional access policies or devices based conditional access policies. Click on next. Now here you can see the pre-built templates. You can use any one of these templates as per your requirement. You can check for identities as well, and you can use any one of these templates. But for this demo, we are going to create a new policy. So we will click on new policy. Let's give it a name. For example, MFA for security admins. Under assignments, we will select the user. So we will go to select users and groups. But from here, we will select directory roles because we are going to assign this policy on security administrator role. So we will click on directory roles and from here we will look for security administrator. Select the role. So this is selected. So that means any user who has security administrator role assigned on those users, this policy will be triggered. Next, we will go to cloud apps. And here we will select select apps. And from here we will select exchange online. Office 365 exchange online. Select the application. Now we will go to access controls. Under grant, you will click zero control selected and make sure grant access is selected and we will check require multi-factor authentication click select and turn on this policy click create so this policy is created let's go to another browser and let's log in to exchange online portal So here it says your organization needs more information to keep your account secure. So here this user will have to enroll for multi-factor authentication. So let's click next. I will enroll with Authenticator app.
so this enrollment process is completed let me add this phone number so this user is logged in now if you want to track conditional access policy logs you will go to azure active directory under conditional access policies you will go to sign in logs so these logs are not reflecting yet let's refresh you might have to wait for a couple of minutes. So here we can see a couple of logs for this user, CA1. So click on this event. Now here we can see the date and time when this log was generated. Authentication requirement says multi-factor authentication. Status says success. And additional details say MFA requirement satisfied by claim in the token. Now, if you go to authentication details, we can see MFA requirements satisfied. That means this user has successfully enrolled for MFA. And if you go to conditional access, it shows the name of the conditional access policy that was triggered on this particular user. Now, if you click on this user, it says directory role assignment because we have selected directory role within conditional access policy and that role is assigned on this user under application we can see app included so because office 365 exchange online application was added within the conditional access policy and if you scroll it down under grant controls we can see it says require multi-factor authentication so all these conditions are met and this user is able to enroll for MFA and he can log in with MFA as well. So this is how you can track conditional access policy logs. Now let's create another conditional access policy. So the second scenario is if a user will try to access Azure portal from India location, that access should be disabled. So let's go to conditional access. Now, before you create a conditional access policy on the basis of location or IP address range, you need to create a named location. So under conditional access policy settings, you will click named locations. And from here, either you can create an IP address range location or you can create country or region based location. So for this demo, we are going to create a country based location. So click on countries location and give it a name for example location and here select the country so this part is done now we will go to policies new policy and give it a name location based policy under assignments you can add the users or groups or the guest or external users as per your requirement but for this demo, I'm going to add a user manually, CA2. Under cloud applications, we will select Microsoft Azure Management. And then we will go to conditions. We will go to locations. Click yes under configure, selected locations. And from here, we will select the location that we just created. Select. And then we will go to access controls. And we will block the access. Now this policy says, if CA2 user will try to access Azure portal from India location, that particular access should be blocked. So once you have made the changes, Turn on the policy and click create. So this policy is created. Now let's log in with CA2 user to portal.azure.com. So you can see this user entered his username and password, but 
Now it says you cannot access this right now. Your sign in was successful, but doesn't meet the criteria to access this resource. For example, you might be signing in from a browser, app, or location that is restricted by your admin. So as we discussed in the last video, that conditional access policies are applied on a user account or an object once that object is logged in. Now let's go back to sign-in logs. We might have to wait for a couple of minutes because these logs are not replicated yet. So the logs are generated for CA2 user and the status says failure. Let's click on the event. So it says authentication requirement, single factor authentication because we haven't enabled multi-factor authentication on this account. Status says failure and this gives you error code as well for further troubleshooting. But under failure reason, we can see the error. It says access has been blocked by conditional access policies. The access policy doesn't allow token issuance. So let's go to conditional access. Click on the policy, location-based policy. And here we can see the CA2 user was matched and Azure portal was also added under cloud applications. And this is the location. This is accessed from India. And the grant control says block. So based on this conditional access policy, the action is taken. So this user was trying to access Azure portal from India location and conditional access policy has blocked the access. So this is how you can create location based conditional access policies. Let's create one more conditional access policy. And for this scenario, as an administrator, I want to disable basic authentication protocols for all the users in my tenant. So that means users will not be able to access protocols like IMAP, POP, and Exchange Active Sync. So let's go to conditional access, new policy. We will give it a name like block basic auth protocols under assignments i'm going to add all the users of my tenant however i will exclude the admin account select next we will go to cloud apps or actions and we will select all cloud applications next go to conditions under conditions, we will go to client apps, click yes under configure, and we will select exchange active sync clients and other clients. Click done, go to grant, and select block access because we are going to block access for basic authentication protocols. Click select, turn on the policy, and click create. So this is how you can create another conditional access policy where you are blocking the access for basic authentication protocols for all the users of your tenant except the administrator. So as per your business requirement, you can create different types of conditional access policies. In the next video, we will be talking about B2B collaboration. I will demonstrate to you how to invite external users to your tenant and how an external user will access the services of your Azure AD tenant. So if you have learned something new from this particular video, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel and share this channel within your community. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.